Hello and good evening to my weekly 10 show and tonight I'm going to be talking about how to stay focused when we're distracted okay yep yeah, I'm now live <laughs> how to stay focused when we're distracted that's what I'm going to be chatting about tonight and um, yeah no um, before I jump into that I just want to bring everyone to awareness um, again awareness is a key word especially tonight but awareness about uh, a, an article i wrote um, which was published today by brains magazine and it's called the secret weapon in your quest to success okay so if you're interested in reading that and i do recommend you do because i think it's a pretty good article if i do say so myself but um yeah no read it it's, it's on uh, my facebook and it's on linkedin and it's also on instagram if you if you click on the link in uh the bio section of my uh, instagram so if you're interested in reading about that uh, and finding out a bit how it can help you because that's what it's about it's about how it can help you um increase and improve um your all-round energy so that you're performing at your best pretty much all the time so if you're interested in finding out how you can do that for yourself check this article out because it really is good and it will help you so um, again, I'm, I'm available for one-to-one -one coaching still, um, and lots of going on at the moment. I'm doing a couple of speaking events this week as well, but the one-to-one -one coaching is my bread and butter. So if you're interested in finding out how I can help you with anything that's going on in your life, then drop me a, um, a line and I will have a chat with you and see how we can um, move forward with that. So tonight, I want to talk about um, how we can stay focused, really. Okay, so think about this. So um, when you're at work, um, what do you tend to focus on when you're at work? And what do you tend to focus on when you're not at work, when you're out for having fun or with friends or whatever? And how likely is it that when you do focus on things, you're focusing on what you don't want to happen in life rather than what you do want to happen in life? Because most of us don't. We, don't, we tend to focus, whether it be subconsciously or consciously, we focus on the things that we don't actually want to happen in life. So and there is a difference between focus and concentration. Now, concentration is basically where you're paying attention to a particular task at hand. So, for instance, if you're at work and you have to do some work, you're trying to pay attention to that task at hand. Focus, on the other hand, is something that you're paying attention to, something else that you're paying attention to. So it could be something mentally. It could be something external or internal. And there is two types of focus, internal and external, like I just said. And now I'll give you examples of what this means and how that what that actually means. So um, imagine you're sitting in an office and in that office, there's no windows. There's, there's no air con. It's a stuffy little room and you're trying to focus on a task at hand, but you find yourself getting irritable. That's called narrow in external focus, because what you're focusing on is something quite small in a narrow sense. But it's external, so it's an out outward thing. So you're focusing on the fact that you're in, a, in an environment which isn't really suitable for you. And again, this is subconscious stuff. So you won't necessarily be aware at the time that you're thinking these things. It'll be something in your subconscious and it will distract you from doing whatever task that you want to do. You also have a broad external to, um, uh, focus, which is basically, so for, again, if you're in the office, and you're sitting in the office and you're thinking to yourself, oh God, I've got to go home and I've got a long commute home and there's going to be traffic or whatever. That's called a broad external focus. So you're focusing on a broader perspective, but it, again, it's an external thing that you're focusing on. And again, that will distract you because you won't be focusing 100% on the task at hand. You'll be distracted by whatever's going on in your mind, mentally, subconsciously. So... We also have internal uh, focus. Internal focus on a narrow perspective might be something like you've got to talk to your boss and you're not too keen on talking to your boss in case you say something or do something that might, you know, make you look foolish or whatever. So you'll be a bit anxious about that. And that's an internal, a narrow internal focus. So you'll be thinking about that. So again, it, it distracts us. It distracts us. And it, that's just an example. It could be anything that's got on our mind in an in a external or in an internal sense. And, a, and an example of a broad inter, internal um, thing, you might be have to do a presentation to a group of people. And again, that might be creating an anxiety, stress, worry. And I know from one of my clients, he gets that himself because he'll, he'll have to go into a conference call with 20 people 
And before he goes on, he doesn't like talking in front of lots of people. So therefore, he'll start becoming anxious. And he creates that mindset before he goes in. And that distracts him from what he has to actually say. He knows exactly what he has to say. But the fact he's, had, I mean, he's sitting there worrying about, again, subconsciously, about what he's got to face and the fact he's got to talk in front of people will distract him. And he will become um, distracted away from what he has to say and do. And then not perform at his best. You see, but this is what distractions do. They 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 create a, a mindset which prevents us being able to fully concentrate and not perform at our very best. So, focusing um, on creating more peace in your life, and I and be specifically aware of the things in your mind which are creating uh, a lack of focus. So coming actually, bringing your subconscious into your conscious mind and actually becoming aware of the things that actually stop us focusing 100% on whatever tasks we've got to do. Now we can also uh, go into a, a, a job or office or wherever it is, hoping that, you know, we won't have any distractions. We can turn our phones off. We can like, you know, try and ignore people. But if you're not dealing with the stuff that's going on in your mind, you're still going to get distracted. And that's the thing that um, you really have to sort of um, address if you want to focus 100% on, on any particular task at hand. But otherwise, you will just continue to get distracted because you won't have that optimal focus. You will be focusing on things that are in the back of your mind somewhere and that will then distract you away from what you actually want to do. So, again, concentrating is different from focus. Concentrating is paying attention to actual tasks. So without focus and concentration, um, the quality of your outcome, uh, uh, the outcome or the productivity of whatever it is that you're attempting to achieve will drop. You won't be able to achieve your task or, or, or perform to the task in the way that you really want to. And again, you've got people saying that you, you can multitask. It's a very similar thing. You don't, it's a myth basically multitasking because what multitasking essentially is, is when you're trying to do two or three different things at once. The reality is, is that what you're actually doing is jumping from one task to another. So you're separating your focus between different things. So you're not actually ever focusing or concentrating on one thing at a time. You're always um, cutting it from here to here, here and you're not actually producing uh, your best work because you'll be giving uh, less time to this and less time to that. So multitasking is never really successful and we never really produce our best work when we do so. We might get things done, to, we might think we're getting things done, but we're not performing at our very best. So concentrating um, without any sort of distraction um, really comes down to addressing the, 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 the mental blocks or mental uh, influences that create that sort of distraction in the first place and lack of focus. So, for instance, also you can you can have things such as if you if someone's talking in the background or someone's screaming, a baby's screaming or outside the window. I get that here. Um, you know that can distract you. It can distract you away from whatever you're thinking at the time because all of a sudden your mindset goes away. So there's different types of distractions. It doesn't necessarily have to be a mental one. It could be an out an external one. Again, that's an external. Uh, a broader exter external focus. So you're fo I'd be focusing on the baby crying instead of working on whatever I'm focusing on or trying to concentrate on, I should say. So the key to all of this really is becoming acutely aware. And being when you're acutely aware of what's going on in your mindset, you can actually b bring yourself into a, a, a much more peaceful sort of way of thinking. So you can address the issues that are going on which are distracting you. So if there's something particularly, um, like for instance, if you're working in an office and there's no windows, you can do something in that office to uh, make it much more comfortable to work in. You might not be able to move office, but if you if you if you if you're aware that it's influence it's distracting you away from the tasks that you want to perform, you could, there's other things you can do. You can put a picture up, do things like that. I had to do that here. You know, it's not an ideal circumstance where I am. You know, but. I, I, I maximise the potential of it by doing different things and making it much more comfortable to work from. That's the difference. So you in, you, you maximise the um, environment that you're in if, 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 if that's what's uh, affecting you. So being acutely aware of what's going on in your mind helps you then uh, uh, firstly identify what's going on and secondly be um, change that whole um, situation so that it works for you and it's more constructive. So being specific 
is key as well because you have to be specific about what exactly is going on in your mind in order to address it and a lot of us don't realize most of the time what's going on in our mind so because it's in the subconscious as well so that's where the awareness comes in because when you're acutely aware you stop you think you you actually analyze your thinking and you reflect and you start working out actually that's causing me a problem you know that's the issue I'm worried about. I'm worried about traffic going home. I'm not focusing on the work. So you become a lot more in control of how you want to think and ultimately how you want to feel and the work that you do. And you become a lot more productive as a result and you get more done. So the more focused you are on outward external things or inward things that are causing you um, uh, stress, the less work you're going to get done. So if you want to stay focused when you're just uh, and when you're distracted by things, become much more acutely aware of what's distracting you and you'll start to see amazing results. And I can help you with that. And if you're interested in finding out how I can help you overcome the blocks, the mental blocks that stop you being the best version of yourself and stop you being as productive as you want to be in your life, get in touch with me, drop me a call and I'll have a chat with you. Okay, and have a great night and I will talk to you all next week. Bye-bye.